I just found out something that made me very happy and also very terrified at the same time. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you may have seen me use this meme. No, I don't want that. I always thought that this was just like an animation. It turns out that this pumpkin game is a real game. I mean, you guys see this play Mr. Tomatoes, right? I am I am now almost completely certain that that game is inspired by this game. Shout out to the game Salmon. I seen uh, his video and I was like, wait, this is an actual game? I've been referencing this for so long without even knowing. So apparently it's a website and it's been taken down. It doesn't work anymore because Flash games don't work anymore, but thank God. I actually had this downloaded on my computer somehow, like a, a program to launch a bunch of games. And luckily this one was on it. It's called like pumpkin.com and it's from 2008. There he is, the hungry pumpkin. Apparently there's a lot of other games. I don't even know what they are. God, do I dare? Oh God. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Ah! Give me the butter. That's what he started out with. Does he always start out with the butter? Don't think for one second that he's innocent because he's not. There's actually an incident that we probably should get into at some point in this video. And it has something to do with butter. I have to- Oh, oh god, that's, that's just so terrifying. So this was in 2008. Who created this? What if I don't? What is this? No, I don't want that. <laughs> there it is in the flesh. Give me the butter. <laughs> Why does he say it's so sensual? Give me the butter. Give me the cross. I don't know why I'm so like just dis disturbed by this pumpkin man hybrid with weird pants and purple sleeves. Like, how do you even put on a shirt? This is the same question we all have with SpongeBob. What if I keep giving it? What is this anyway? No, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give you the butter. <laughs> Give me the chicken. <laughs> Dude, we need a sequel to this game. Bro. After playing the Mr. Tomatoes, it's, uh, I hate them both. I don't know, it's just so unsettled by this whole experience. Give me the chicken. <laughs> Take your chicken! <laughs> Give me the soda. Alright. <laughs> Is there a secret ending to this game? I wanna Give know. Me Go back wherever force you came out of. Give me the coffee. Coffee. All right, man. This is the one thing we can agree on. I like coffee too. So hey, all right, all right. I like some coffee. There you go. He ate the whole cup, though. Give me the water. You're not gonna. No, nah, you're not gonna be eating the glass. You're gonna eat the glass. Why are you in the glass? Give me the cheese. <laughs> Give me the cheese. Fine. No. Oh, that's spaghetti. Give me the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's cheese. There's the cheese. Give me the salt. Salt. Okay. Uh, I really can't believe I'm playing this. Like, it's been, I've, I've known about this thing for like at least two years without knowing that this was real. You know, this made my day today. Okay. Speaking of Mr. Tomatoes, I do plan on. Uh, uh, pl I was actually gonna play Mr. Tomatoes today and get the the, the real ending because we've done a few episodes. They go check them out, you know. So I was gonna do the real ending to that, but when I when I Googled it, I was like, oh, this exists. I I, I just couldn't help it. I had to play it. The way it rolls, eyes roll back. But you know how I mentioned that there was a story. It's called Give Me the Butter. I am sure you're all familiar with this. You may have heard of the Hungry Pumpkin. Some users online have made fun of this minigame found in the pumpkin world and have even made YouTube poops based off of it. Well, we gotta see those. But what most people don't know is that this minigame has an origin to it. It was based off a disturbing event that took place at a particular cafe. Wait, what do you want again? No! Ah! I don't want that! Look how violent he gets! Give me the sandwich! He wants the same witch. You don't want to make Mr. Pumpkin angry or else you will regret it. Give me the eggs. You know, that wasn't too bad. Bye, have a great time. Oh my god, we're safe for another day. He just ate like 50 things. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Anyway, let's continue our story. Nobody knew why this person wasn't banned, but for some reason, the owner of the cafe took a liking to this customer. Oh no, is it me? I definitely don't like him. Creep children out with his gross appearance. <laughs> it is gross, though. <laughs> his fingers. Perhaps something gained from his terrible eating habits. He would come to this cafe every day because he loved the food there. The food. <laughs> that wasn't the problem with him at first. He started to become attached to this cafe after eating there a couple of times. Is he gonna come? Oh, well, he's gonna come back? Hello there. Oh god. No, in this creepy story, this makes it even scarier. I'm very hungry. Leave me alone! Give me the hot dog. Oh, 
I love the AC pot. Oh, give, give me, me the, the jam. jam. Oh, I called it, yeah. I'm actually so terrified right now. Give me right the now. juice. I'm so terrified right now. Give me the butter. No, don't say the butter. Continuing on, at first he started to treat the workers and other customers poorly. If a food dish was slightly off and not how he wanted it to be, he would decline it and sometimes break the plate in rage due to his short temper. He does do that. Other issues involving him grossing out by people by drinking a container of ketchup. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Like, what's up with freaking Mr. Tomatoes eating ketchup? Like, that's just wrong. He also had terrible hygiene, which made up the customers either leave or sit far away from him. Sometimes he would leave the cafe without paying his first bill. <laughs> He does it! But for some reason, that didn't bother the owner. Something is seriously wrong with this dude. He's got beautiful eyes, though. Give me the noodles. <laughs> Take it, leave me alone. Give me the cheese. <laughs> it's, it's really making me laugh, man. How many times is he gonna come back? Give me the no. chicken. Wait, there's gotta be an ending that. to where we like give him the wrong stuff. Give me every no time. chicken. I don't want that. Like, what is he gonna do? That was delicious. I'll be back tomorrow. Wait, is he getting bigger? Wait, why can I click this? Cheese. <laughs> fish. Noodles. Wait, what? Why is it like different all of a sudden? Moving on, some people nicknamed him the Pumpkin Man due to how he looked. They would secretly keep it to themselves because the owner of the cafe would scold and sometimes kick out people who said anything bad about the Pumpkin Man. What is his attachment with the Pumpkin Man and the restaurant owner? Claiming he was severely mental and that other people shouldn't go easy on him because of it. This even happened when the employees would make legitimate complaints about him. I mean, if his, if his hygiene is bad, you know, if he smells like onions when he's a pumpkin, that's a problem. I'd be mad too. I'd complain about it too. And even when the customers who ate there did the same, eventually his behavior took a turn for the worse. He's coming back. Oh, God. I'm very hungry. We know. All right, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it wrong no. the entire time. Give me the cheese. <laughs> No! Dude, it catches me every I time don't want he says that. it. It catches me off guard. Give me the no. cheese. I don't want that. I'm putting you on a diet, Mr. Pumpkin Man. Give me you know how many people are you wasting so Give much me food? No juice. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm never coming back here. Yeah, well, get out of here. No one wants you. We're safe for another day. You know he's going to come back. The Pumpkin Man walked into the cafe one morning and was about to enjoy a good breakfast, anticipating his pancakes and syrup. There was one problem though. The cafe had a shortage of butter on that day. No! This whole incident could have been avoided. But the owner pointed to a young couple who had just given the last of the butter to. The pumpkin man went over to the couple and demanded that they give him the last of the butter. They refused, just to spite him, and he lost his temper. He didn't want to be denied of his meal. He lashed out of them and the others who tried to rush in and help when they heard screaming when they were able to subdue the pumpkin man. It was too late. Oh my god. The victim who got in the way of his meal stayed in a hospital where he died a few days later. He should have been arrested for this, but the owner was able to get the crooked cops of this small town to look the other way with a bribe. With what? Did they have exotic butters? Everyone became frightened by the pumpkin man and had gotten fed up with his behavior. After that incident was covered up, the pumpkin man was the only one who came into the cafe. When the owner saw him come in, he smiled and had a delicious meal ready for him. The cafe went out of business a few years ago. After its closing, the owner disappeared and was never seen again. Butter? <laughs> oh, he's back again! <laughs> I thought, what'd you say? You said you were never coming back! Don't eat me! Give me the salt. Alright, what happens if we get it all right? I know what you did last summer, pumpkin. Me, well, to be fair, like, the restaurant owner doesn't even need any more customers. Because, like, this guy comes. Apparently, he's, is he rich? No, don't. Give don't. me the butter. Oh, take it. Please, take it. So now I know why he says to the butter like that because right. butter is very special to him. You don't want to take away his butter. That was fantastic. I'll be back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? He's got a problem. What is this universe anyway? I honestly just want to know what else you do in the game. The clothes game. Is there more pumpkins? What ah! a day. Perfect for drying these clothes. Disgusting. Look at those lips. Is this his wife? <laughs> Socks, pants, sneakers. <laughs> I don't like this universe. I, it, it's seriously unnerving. I don't know why. The fruits game. Oh, it's his son. He's got a son. Do you like cherries? I don't. I don't want to get. Don't get near me. So for some reason, a lot of people on Scratch have freaking made a bunch of these. It's straight up become a meme. I'm very hungry. Give me the Stay puff. Give me the bean. I'm very hungry. 
feed me the <laughs> feed me the feed me the feed me the what do you want well what have we learned today if you ever you know start a restaurant one day and you see a pumpkin walk in just remember one thing keep the butter in stock <laughs>